Mom and I are going to live apart for a while. For forever, Emma says. Just say it. Adam has watched all this as a detached spectator, but at this point he picks up his iPad and types on it. Eric notices. You see? This is why I can't stand these things at the table. Oh, yeah, that's the problem. Emma laughs in disbelief. Are you seriously talking about screens right now, at this moment? Seriously? Eric looks up at the ceiling, as if beseeching help from above. If everyone could just listen to me for one single minute. I'm listening, but you're not telling us what's really going on. Emma balls up her fists. Her eyes are like fierce blue lasers. What's the point? Why even talk? It's not like we have any input. Just do what you're going to do and get it over with. Please stop arguing, Jen says. Max, near tears, yells out, I don't want to go on trial. Bits of poultry rain down. Now it's Jen's turn to be impatient. There's no trial. It's an expression, she regrets shouting immediately. But when she turns toward Max to attempt more comforting words, she sees a strange object she doesn't recognize on the table. A black obelisk, two feet high, has appeared between the chicken and the spaghetti. It looks like a modern sculpture, but darker, stranger. That's weird, she says, and the family is drawn to the object by her gaze. Who put that on the table? Emma shakes her head. The obelisk emits a sound, a low din that grows every second. Adam watches impassively while panic grips the other members of the family, who lean away from the table. Eric jumps up like someone fighting a strong current. What is that thing? Who brought it? Max shrieks, standing and staggering backward. But there's no answer to this question either. The others can't hear him over the increasing drone. Eric extends one arm to grab the object, but his hand passes through it. Perplexed, he looks at his hand, as if there must be something wrong with it. What is it, Eric? Jen yells, panicked, over the now deafening roar. What's going on? She reaches out for her husband, but the edges of the world grow blurry, and the room undulates around them as if transforming into liquid. Max chokes out a cry of terror. Jen tries to reach out for him, but she can no longer see him or anyone else. The only thing anyone can see is the obelisk, which is less like an object now and more like a deep cut in the middle of everything into which everything is flowing like water down a drain. Eric opens his mouth to scream but there's no voice inside his body, and then no body at all. Nothing is left.